So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at complex types in TypeScript. And this is a way that you can define a, the structure of an object that you're going to be using as a type and have various different properties, each which have their own independent types. So let's take a look at what that might look like. Let's say we've got a, a user, uh, some user data that we want to model within our TypeScript code. So we're going to create a new type and we'll call this type user. And what we can do, instead of assigning it a specific type, as we have done in previous web dev tips, such as string or number, we can actually describe the structure of what a user object will look like by defining each of the individual properties like this. So we assign it what looks like an object, and then we just define what properties we expect to see on a user type. So it could be something like a name, uh, which could be a string, and we use a, a semicolon at the end of that rather than a comma, which is a bit misleading because it looks a bit like an object here. And then we might give the person an age, which might set as a number, and might say is a pro dev is a boolean. So with that set up as our type, we can then use that within our code, and we get the benefit of having uh, the IntelliSense within Visual Studio Code to tell us what properties are available on a user type. But also TypeScript will check our code to make sure that we're not trying to access or assign values to a user type that doesn't exist. So let's create a new constant variable here. We'll just say it's a user one, and we'll assign the type of this variable, uh, the type of use that we've just created above. And now we assign this an object, and if we don't assign anything to it, uh, we can see that uh, the, it's given us the error in Visual Studio Code here that uh, we're actually missing the name, age, and is pro dev properties. So we need to fill those out when we're assigning value. So let's uh, create a new object here. Uh, say uh, the name is Mina, age is 21, and is pro dev is true. And notice how uh, TypeScript is doing all of the checking for us here to make sure that we're assigning the right uh, types of data. So for example, if we try and assign a string to is pro dev property, uh, we'll get that compilation error to let us know there's a problem there. And the same is true if we try and actually add additional properties as well. So if we try to put something like skills in there that this uh, developer might have, uh, you can see that uh, this particular property is not available on the type, so it won't let us actually assign that value, uh, that, that property on our object to the user type. So there you go, there's another example of types in TypeScript, and this time we've created a more complex type, uh, modeling the structure of a particular object uh, that might hold some user data. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.